Hello, everybody, and welcome to creating a domain. I'm going to show you how you can create a domain from step A to step Z on this video. First thing you're going to do is you are going to go to godaddy.com. You're going to come to an area where it just says type the domain you want. You are not logged in yet at this point, even though it does say that I'm logged in. You can create an account once you actually find the domain that you want. So right here, you just want to type in the domain that you want. It can be related to your niche if you want it to be. So if your niche is fitness, you can do wellness with Jamie or wellness with Jamie Lee. You, If you want to do pets, you can do... Um, greatdanemom.com, something like that. The issue is that a lot of people may already have these domain names. So you want to make sure that you're finding a domain name that is suitable for you, but that is also affordable for you. So you might have to just add numbers to the end or make it a little bit unique and different than other people's domains. So for this example, maybe I will do wellness with a W with... Um, I'm going to put James Lee. That used to be my nickname. So I'm just going to use that. And the only reason I'm saying that is because I know that Jamie Lee is already taken because I've used it. And then I'm going to hit the search domain button over here in the corner. It's then going to give me the options of what are available with that name. And it actually has an exact match. So wellness with James Lee dot com. You notice there is a .com. You definitely want the .com because a lot of people are more likely to click on a .com than they are a .net, .info, .store. So, and it it'll, it will say a penny. You don't want to go to the ones that say like $14. If it's something that is taken, let me show you an example of that. Um, maybe wellness with me, that might be taken. That's going to be a little bit more expensive. So for domains that are already taken, so wellnesswithme.com is taken. They literally want you to pay $69.99 for that because you are sharing it. So we are going to go back to just the wellness with James Lee. And then what you do now is you hit, just hit make it yours. And once you hit make it yours, you are going to get a pop-up over here on the right-hand side. And this pop-up is going to give you a bundle and save option. So this bundle domain and save option you do want because if you are going to be using System.io, you want to have a professional email. They're, they're not very fond of like the Gmail accounts and the Yahoo accounts. And a lot of that stuff will end up going to the spam folder. So it's just better that you have a professional email that aligns with your domain. So just put get it here on the $2.99 option. You don't need a website builder. This one has a website builder. Do not get a website builder. If you do get the website builder, all of the options will not be there for you to link your domain when we're ready to do that in System.io. So make sure you are only getting the $2.99 option. So if you click get it here, it's going to add that. And then you can go right here and put like what describes you best if you want to. I never do. And then it just kind of goes over a little bit about your domain registration. And then you can continue to cart right here at the bottom. So now you want to hit continue to cart. And then this is another one where they try to get you to do the website. And I've actually had people make the mistake of getting the website. It's not the end of the world. We just have to... Um, get a hold of GoDaddy and have them uh, unlink the website so that we can use it for System.io and take it off. But it's very important that when you get to the screen, you uncheck the start your website for free. And then you wanna check this Microsoft 365 email essentials. So if you check that little bubble and then you hit continue to cart over here on the right hand side. It's then going to load yet another page just to clarify everything you're doing as you can see this says 2687 because you have a 12-month agreement here so this is a 12-month um, domain where you would have to renew it in 12 months if you decide you want to do this for 24 months your price is going to go up you'll see that here okay and the same thing with the 36 months so on and so forth i just do the 12 months and then I have it for the entire year. And then I don't have to stress about renewing it every month and stuff like that. And you can 
either pay with PayPal or just say, I'm ready to pay. And you can put a credit or a debit card in there. I am not going to purchase this because I've already purchased um, a domain for testing purposes. But once you get to this screen, you can hit, I'm ready to pay. And then the next screen is going to go through a little bit about um, your payment options. And then it's going to ask you for, to set up your email. Now, when you set up your email, it's going to ask you for the name. So it'll give you options too. You just want a single email. You don't want a multiple email. And you will see below that there are there is a step-by-step -step guide of how to do this with screenshots that I'm talking about, but I just wanted to go through it a little bit. You want a single email. And mine, I personally just have info at, so I just have info there. And then it automatically adds at whatever the, the domain is. So for example, this one would be, I would just type info and then it would say at wellnesswithjameslee.com. You could also do contact and then it'd be contact at wellnesswithjameslee.com. If you want your name, you can also do your name. You can just do Jamie and then it'll say Jamie at wellnesswithjameslee.com. So there is no right or wrong way to do the email. So don't stress out about the email too much. My biggest thing is when I say get a domain, I like to tell people to make it as short as possible and make the the name of the email short as possible because you're going to have to type that out. So if it's wellness with Jamie Lee 2024, let me help you.com. It's just way too long, way too confusing. So you definitely want to make sure that it's short, sweet to the point, and it's very unique to you. So hopefully that helped and I will see you in the next training.